Good morning everybody. Welcome back to the Isbell Farms YouTube channel. Uh, last video we got some planting done and uh, you got to see how that works. We did it with the plane that time because it was still really wet around here. But since then it has not rained much. We've had some really pretty hot sunny days, good wind. Um, we have had just a little bit of rain uh, two days ago not even a half inch not too much it soaked in quick didn't make any puddles really so uh, we were happy with that so today we're gonna try to get a few tractors in the field and get a little bit of plowing done get a little bit of ground worked up where we can get it ready to drill with the tractor um, our only concern is there's a forecasted 90% chance of rain tonight uh, somewhere around an inch so that's gonna shut us down for a little while if that happens but if we can get some of this ground broken open a little bit open it up with a plow get some air down to it even when it rains it'll soak in faster and we can get back out there and get it plowed up again so that's what we're gonna try to do today I just hopped in this tractor I'm gonna go put just a little bit of fuel in there it looks like it needs a little bit and dad gets all mad at me when I go past the fuel tank and then later in the day I say, well, I'm out of fuel. So this time I'm not gonna do that. Um, Dad's heading up to another field with a old tractor and plow, one of those ones we fixed in the shop. And uh, he's gonna go see if he can break open some, some of those fields that were really rutted up with that plow. And uh, I think he's gonna keep you updated on that. But anyway, here we go. Good morning. Well, I'm on one of the oldest tractors on the farm today. Everything else was kind of tied up. But I kind of wanted this one anyway because it's light. It's got some power. Pulling a plow. I'm going to run up here to a field that's... We made some ruts in back in the fall. Try to start doing a little plowing. Harrison's on a whole lot nicer tractor and a whole lot nicer plow. He'll probably get some shots too, but I'm just gonna kind of try to try to get in there and see if I can turn it over. It's supposed to rain tonight. Uh, this is the only day so far of spring 2021 that we've been able to get out and even attempt to plow any ground. Uh, and that's what usually happens. It, it dries out and then there's always a chance of rain in the forecast, but we're gonna give it a shot today see how it goes and who knows you might get to see me get pulled out with a tractor again because I might get stuck. Hope not. See how it goes. Alright guys I just pulled into the field with this plow. I got her filled up at the shop. Set it down uh, and it looks surprisingly good behind me. In fact it looks so good at sounds like I'm gonna have a day of work ahead of me um, in plowing. It looks really beautiful. It's breaking up good. If we can get that crust broken off the top, if it rains tonight like it's supposed to, then uh, that rain can soak into those, those clods and those open places in the ground. And when that sun comes out, it'll get really dry really fast. So um, this is looking really good. I'm gonna keep at it for a little while. If I run into something wet, then uh, we'll reevaluate. But yeah, here we go. So I know sitting on a tractor like this is probably not tons and tons, it doesn't look like tons and tons of fun to you, but uh, it actually is a really exciting thing for a farmer when you can finally, when you've been looking at flooded fields all winter and then all spring, you said the weather's so nice, but we just, if we could just get in the field, it's so wet out there, putting the plow on the ground for the first time of the year is a pretty sweet deal, uh, feels pretty good, but <clears throat> Spending hours upon hours on end on a tractor is probably not the most glamorous thing ever, but it, uh, I don't know, it just does you good after a long season of waiting to get in the field and wait to get something done. It just uh, feels good. It's not too great for your social life, but I don't know. It's just nice to be back in the field, back going, fly on some ground, hopefully get a planter in the ground. You're always crossing your fingers that it doesn't rain. Okay, I went about 
that far. Ground looks pretty good. This side is riding high for some reason. I have to work on that. But the main thing is I blew a hose. And we were in these plows through the shop this winter and we changed what we thought was all the hoses that looked like were in jeopardy of blowing. Apparently we missed. I guess we missed that one. Changed. Changed all of those down through there and some going out that way. Oh well, I'm waiting on some help. I don't have any wrenches on this tractor and I don't have a ride, so I'm just gonna hang out. PSA to everyone out there, all you lovely people. If you're not drinking this Topo Chico Twist of Lime while you drive your tractor and plow the field in the afternoon, then you're just not living, folks. All right, hoses are changed. I'm gonna try this again. Nathan's on another one across the field. As you can see, same rig I'm running. I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna go across the highway and try a different field. So uh, one of the super cool things that we have on our farm are these awesome John Deere tractors. And um, they're super cool for a lot of reasons, but the biggest reason we love them is because they have this awesome guidance system on them. Um, they actually have our fields integrated into them. I entered all of those in uh, through a computer program. They have all of our field boundaries. And even this line, you might be able to see that little red line over there. I actually drew that line on a computer uh, and then downloaded it into this tractor. So when I pulled in here, I put the width of this plow in the computer here. I pulled in here, I opened up, I clicked the right field and uh, started going, hit the automatic button. It jumped to that line immediately and it's driving itself on a straight line that I predetermined uh, more than a year ago on my computer so that's a super cool feature that we love you can see here it it's painting the line as it uh, as it goes and I've got that to where when I pick this button up which picks up the plow in the back it is um, it's you see here where I've picked the plow up where it got muddy on the screen it is showing that I haven't plowed that that's because every time I pick up that plow with that button it shuts off the painting 
and when I set it back down it paints again so that I know exactly where I've been so it's a super cool feature all right folks first field of 2021 is being finished up right now last little pass trimming up my edges then I'm gonna head on to the next field about this field's like 72 acres or so so 72 acres is better than no acres being knocked out so uh, hopefully everybody cross your fingers it will not rain uh, but if it does happen to rain this should dry out a lot faster than it would have if uh, <clears throat> it was still sealed over and, and uh, not plowed up so if you can see here it looks pretty good I'm gonna go to the next one it's a pretty long drive to the next field but I think I'm gonna carry you guys along with me anyway because I think it's gonna be a fun drive here I'm not sure how long this drive is gonna take but it's pretty good ways Let's see here. fold her up Alright, here we go. We gotta make the trip to the next field. Phew! We made it! That was a long drive, but we're here. Man, what a drive. Time to get to work again. <laughs> That's a dumb joke. <laughs> All right, just got that field across the levee there done. It looks really good. Just popped into this one. I think it's plenty dry to keep on going here too. I'll show you a little bit what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a little bit, this is a sandier field, so I think it's gonna be even better, but uh, you can see it's breaking up pretty nice. It's uh, damp, but once we break it open, the sun's shining the way it is, it's uh, it's gonna dry out really fast. So, uh, hey, what is that over there? You guys see that? I think it's a, uh, wait, hang on. It's a plowing montage, no way.
Still plowing. At least I do have some help now. All right, still plowing. Still looking pretty good. Uh, there was a wet spot over in the center. Had to go around that. But uh, overall, it's looking really good. The stuff that looked really wet was not as wet as the stuff that didn't look wet. So go figure, that's a bug shot for you. But uh, I was just taking a look at the radar here. Pull it back up. It looks like we may be in for a little rain here in just a second. Take a look. You can see it's coming towards us there. I don't know how much we're going to get out of that. I don't know if it's going to stop us immediately or break up. I've been trying to swipe the screen, trying to make it go away, but it's not going away. So I guess I'm just going to keep plowing and uh, see what happens here. That's your update. Come on, we just need another hour. If we get another hour, we have this one done. Hope it doesn't rain us out. I just need to get to right over there. Probably didn't hear that. I said, I just need to get to right over there. Also starting to rain. My air conditioner is really out. Still sweating. At least it's cloudy. So Dad and Nathan were plowing just up the road on a field, and uh, Nathan pulled out on the highway to bring his tractor back, and it would appear that his transmission went out when he was on the highway, and now. They're pulling his truck, his, they're pulling the tractor with Nathan's truck. <laughs> there they go. You don't see that every day, folks. A Ford pulling a cat tractor. All right, just got back home. Uh, we did get rained out. Nothing I could really do about it. it the ground was getting wet anyway that we had ahead of us, so there wasn't much we could do anyway. Uh, we're just going to cross our fingers, hope it doesn't rain too much, and then it should dry out quick after that if we don't get like two inches of rain or something crazy. So I'm back home now. Lucky's all scared because it's thundering, so I'm going to go pet him. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Saved it.